How the Germans Fall in Love. We're following Michael Müller, an average German, to find out. Germans aren't exactly known as the world's most romantic people, but how do they meet their partners? What's important for German couples? And who pays on the first date? Let's find out. Tonight, Michael is going on a date with Julia, who he met through work. He is excited, but a little nervous. And that's because, like 52% of German singles, Michael has had a negative dating experience. Oh. 24% of Germans met their current partner online, with a further quarter meeting through mutual friends. Only 10% met their partner at work, so Michael isn't being very average German, but uh, we've already filmed that, so let's move on. Only 5% of Germans admit to drinking alcohol before the first date, so Michael refrains. It's 7 p.m. on the dot, and Michael and Julia are meeting at a bar. Date locations for Germans are fairly standard. Cafes, restaurants, bars and cinemas are popular venues. Germans like to take time to get to know potential partners. And the most common way that they know their partner is the right one? Well, it's when they feel that they don't have to pretend and they can be entirely themselves. Ah. German honesty. Looks like it's off to a good start. Germans also say that reliability and humour are important in a partner. For Germans, it's perfectly normal to split the bill. However, 76% of men believe they should pay on the first date. And almost half of women agree. Michael and Julia are now on a walking date, which are very popular amongst Germans. And what do you do on a walking date? Well, you walk while on a date. That's about it. Depending on how the date goes, 80% of Germans would at least go for a kiss on the cheek. But 60% would go for a kiss on the lips. Germans are well known for making bold declarations of love to the objects of their affection. Okay, uh, not quite. Today is the 14th of February, aka Valentine's Day. And while many people feel particularly amorous today, apparently the Germans don't. Over two-thirds of Germans don't consider Valentine's Day to be important. But no Valentine's Day doesn't mean no romance. Over half of Germans spend a romantic evening together multiple times per month, and the same amount say that they find their partner romantic. Michael and Julia have been together for a month now, and for 23% of Germans, this is the earliest point that they'd say, I love you. I don't know about you, but I am so happy that Michael and Julia finally got their happy ending. And as always, like and subscribe for more Average German.